Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Tonight we're live at the Dorothy Talbot Rink in Gloucester with the Lady Fishermen take on the Lady Hillers from Hopkinton in girls varsity hockey action. Tonight's game is brought to you by Higher Clicks, solving your toughest talent acquisition problems. Call them at 617-299-8889. That's Higher Clicks. Also, Cape Ann Travel Service, 978-282-8216. Give Denise a call for all your travel plans. It's time for a nice vacation, peeps. And Cape Ann Media Productions. Camp can handle all of your business, commercial, real estate, and industrial media needs, including FAA licensed drone operations. Call KPN Media Productions, 978-879-3226. If you'd like to have your business listed as a sponsor of our sports coverages, give us a call at 978-879-3226. Two, six. Also, if you'd like to help defray the cost of our sports and event coverage here on Cape Ann Live, please go to tinyurl.com slash Cape Ann Live or scan the code, QR code on the screen to leave a donation. Any amount would be greatly appreciated. And thank you to all you have already donated. So tonight we have the girls hockey team, they're home after six games in a way. Um, they had a home game last week against Beverly, and now today they're against Hopkinton Hillies. Is that what it is, Hopkinton Hillies? Interesting. The um, Hazel Hillies, too. Anyhow, so in net for the Fishman today will be sophomore Kaden Cusimano. She's wearing number 30. We're gonna get some introductions, but we have number two is Lily Pregent. Three is Fiona Black. Four is Abby Lothers. Six is Halia Taylor. Seven is Haley Wentworth. Eight is Kaya Collins. Nine is Madison Jewell. Ella Costa is 10. Sydney Bushy is 11. Julia Ward is 12. Brooke McNiff, 13. Eliana Parsons, 14. Tegan Smith is 17. Elizabeth Gentile is 18. 19 is Keegan Jewell, 21 Sky Barry, Barry, 22 Ariana Scola, and 24 Jenna Connolly. The Fishmen are coached by Rob Parsons. The assistant coaches Dan Juden, Don Riley, and David Jewell. For your Hopkinton Hillies, Hillers, uh, one is Riley Collier, two is Brooke Furlong, four Kaylee Arthur, Seven is Savannah Rivera. Eight, Morgan Beeler. Nine, Kaylin Thompson. Ten is Avery Bent. She's the captain. Eleven is Lucy Jean. Thirteen is Grace Hennigan. Fifteen, Reese Perdoni. Seventeen, Mace Mary Finnegan. Oh, nice Irish name. Twenty-one, Caitlin Gog. Twenty-two, Maddie Barroso. Twenty-four, Sarah Brennan. Twenty-five, Dylan Norwood. 27, Katherine Kelly, and 28, Jocelyn Lamicki. They are coached by Ron Chin, head coach, Mike and Mike Messier. The captains for the Fishmen are Ab Abby Lothers, Ella Costa, and Brooke McNiff. We're gonna have our national anthem.
the goalie for Hopkinton is number one, Riley Kalora. So she goes to Nipmuc Regional. And then there's kids from Hopkinton and Dover Sherman and Millis on this team. So they make up four different schools. This girls hockey is getting bigger and bigger. Rockport, um, Sydney Bushy, I know it's one Rockport player that's on this team, um, on the Gloucester team. So we combine with Rockport. Doesn't really say what schools they go to. Um, Haley Atalia, I would think, I think it's the other one. Um, we, have, we have one, two, three eighth graders, Fiona Black, Kaya Collins, and Elizabeth Gentile. Uh, Kaya Collins, I believe, scored a goal in the previous game. Her father's Nate, fisherman hockey player, along with Robbie Parsons, who's the head coach here. Then Robbie took it and went to Harvard after he graduated GHS. So for the fishermen, we have 24. Jenna Connolly's going to send the first line with Abby Lothers. That looks like number 11, Sydney Bushy. Back on defense is McNiff and Costa. Oh, nice pass up to Abby. Looking for the wing. Keep save in. Connolly. Hopkinton knocks it away. Ooh, seven fell on the slippery ice. There's a pass. So the Fishmen, I believe, are five and two. Tons of success so far here in the early going. Tough loss last week to Beverly, five to four. But they're gonna bounce back from that. Kaden Kusumato, the sophomore, has been spectacular in net. The seniors, this is their fourth year up here doing this, I think. I don't know if they were the varsity or JV team when they were freshmen. But um, anyhow, they're here and they've been playing four years in this competition. And last year they almost broke it in and this year they're doing what they want to do. This, I, I've been talking about the senior class since they've been freshmen and some really good athletes, McNiff and um, Costa on defense, two of the top athletes in this senior class. Abby Lothers, field hockey plays. Lily Pregents, number two, she can fly. A lot of field hockey players, and then they'll all go play lacrosse in the uh, spring. 18, Elizabeth Gentile on defense. Keegan Jewell is the center for this line. Black, Fiona Black. And Pregent on the other wing, far wing from us. So with Cape Ann Live, I'm Lisa Olson, Jim Capello. We're happy to be here tonight. Had a lot of fun last night doing the wrestling. Ooh, nice pass. No icing. She's flying. Shot. Oh, nobody there. Good try by Fiona Black. Gonna get a line change. Gentile keeps it in. No icing because it was touched. We got the referee with the nice long walks. It was here the last game I did. That was supposed to be a boys game. It's my first time at a girls game. I saw the Beverly game online at Cape Ann Live. Nice crowd today. The JV boys played ahead of us and won their game five to one. So that was a good win for them. I believe they only have one loss so far and that was to Beverly one to nothing. So they're showing in the Varsity boys are right up there, hockey, so a lot of success. That's going to be nice. A lot of success for the boys hockey program and the girls this winter. Now we just got to get the basketball teams going. The wrestling's doing well. Track has won a few meets. So get out there, play something. <laughs> oh, out in front. Good play by the defense. What, 17, Tegan Smith? No, that was 13, McNiff. Brooke last year had a dual role. She played on uh, the hockey team and was a cheerleader. 
who uh, the cheerleading team went all the way to the States last year. So she was busy from uh, Monday after Thanksgiving until uh, the Saturday before spring sports played. Here comes Hopkinton bringing it out of their end. Just see the difference in these kids from three years ago. The shot's going to go wide. Pregent hustling after it. No ice. Gloucester flying down. Nice play there. Keeping it in. That was Keegan. Gentile trying to keep it in. Nice job along the boards. Looks like a bushy. Out in front, shot, score. Looks like Jewel, 24. Oh, Jenna Connolly, my bad. I saw the, I saw the long hair. <laughs> oh, I get to look at it again. It's long hair and it's not red, so it's definitely Jenna Connolly, 24. See what happens, just shoot on net and it goes in. She got the rebound, nice job, Jenna. Gloss up, one to nothing, 10.40 mark. Had to be a long ride for Hopkinton to get here and hopefully they didn't hit much traffic. That nice 128 Nod Expressway. Here they come flying down the sideline. Yeah, it looks like Jenna Connolly sounds like unassisted. McNiff. Wilders. Abby's a wing. Brother Will is on defense for the boys' varsity. Here comes Hopkinton. Brooke. Brooke flying. Brooke can skate. Again, nobody with her. She tries to stuff it in. She didn't have any white shirts with her still. And out front blocked by Hopkinton. Nice play. Number three, Fiona Black on the far side wing. That's Jewel and... Oh, this is Black on our side. Preachers on the far side. There's Fiona. Ooh. Gentile. Looking for Jewel. Keegan couldn't reel that in. Four passes it in. Blocked by Gentile. Nice pass up the sideline. Four was Kelly Arthur. Eight thirty-one to go in the first period. Gloucester up one to nothing. The boys are up in um, Winthrop today. Lost and rink. Always a tough place to play. I think that game started at six ten. So we'll see at intermission. Ooh, that was a dangerous pass. If we get any uh, updates from them. I believe the new sports editor might be in the house tonight. Might be the tank, Nick Giano. I don't know if they say it, say it, but anyhow, Nick is the new sports editor for the Gloucester Times. We're very excited to get some live coverage back. Nick's a sports junkie just like myself, so University of Lowell. Nice school. A lot of fun athletics to watch there. Water in front. Couldn't connect. Here comes the fisherman. 729 to go here in the first. Shot on net. It's wide. Lothers. Back to Gentile. Gentile with a nice shot on net. 
floats in there, but can't get all the way in. Here comes the Hilliers. Hilliers. Four hustling in. Arthur, Kelly Arthur. Uh-oh. It's a penalty. That doesn't sound good. One, three. Could be us. Oh, no. Number four. Sorry. Arthur with the penalty. Can't do that. Hit the girl from behind with the stick. So, Gloucester on the power play. Let's see what they'll put out here. Keegan Joe will be back on defense with uh, Coster. Ah, oh, she can't keep that in. Gonna have to reset. Uh, 24 is Jenna Connolly. She leaves it back. Back to her. Can't collect it. Jewel fighting. Looking out in front. Shot. Score! I think that's Connolly again. 19, Jenna Connolly, nice pass. Yeah, it's a replay. Power play goal for the Fisherman. Nice pass from the corner. She waited, waited. Here comes Jenna out in front. Shoots and scores on the rebound. <laughs> nice job by the Fisherman, 628. Two to nothing, Gloucester. Oh, no, that was Keegan Jewell. My bad, see? They do look alike, except Keegan's hair's gotta get redder for me. That always told her away. Keegan's brother also. Colby is on the boys' team. Where the Lola's are twins. Keegan's a sophomore, her brother is a senior. Two nothing, Fisherman. So 19 is Keegan. Jenna's 24. They got that long hair going down between their numbers. 11, Sydney Bushy. Sydney tore it up on the field hockey field this year in Rockport. Coach Mary Ryan with a lot of accolades for Sydney shows just what a great kid she is. So I just remember Sydney and Abby Lothers, when they were in eighth grade, played on a really good uh, travel basketball team here at Gloucester. And they both chose to play hockey, and I think they chose well. So they were playing both hockey and shots blocked by the defense. Hockey and basketball all the way through eighth grade. Then they made the decision which way to go, and I think they're happy they did this. It's with a great group of kids. Not that the basketball team isn't, but neither of them are the tallest basketball players, but they were so good. They had a nice group of kids. Here comes Abby. Carries it in, nice play. Abby, ooh, what a nice move. Shot saved. Good job, Abby, went to the backhand. That was pretty slick. 4.13 to go. Oh, offside, tough break. McNiff, Abby was almost out of there. So 4.07 to go, the fish went up two to nothing. Julia Ward, number 12 is on the wing. Two is Lily Pregent, took the center. And 19 is Keegan Jewell. Gentile back on D with McNiff. Nice pass across. The check by McNiff.
There we go. 12 can't quite find her. It's Julia Ward. Julia's a senior. Nice move there. Ward trying to dig it out. It goes back to the defense, Gentile. Over to Costa. We quite clear the blue line, but defense was right there for Hopkinton, so they stopped it. And there's no ice this way. 2.55 to go in the first. Oops. Missed that. Gentile hustling back. All the way around to Ella Costa. That's going to be tipped, so there's no ice. Ella Costa, the senior star in the field hockey team. Not that the whole senior class was in stars, but Ella, I believe, played the top 60 game, which is a big thing to play, to make. I'm sure she'll go on and play somewhere next year. I haven't seen anything yet where she's going. But boy, is she good. Great athlete. She was a Gloucester Times Athlete of the Year last year as a junior between uh, field hockey, hockey, and lacrosse. She's pretty awesome in all three. One forty-nine to go. Gloucester up 2 nothing. Couple of nice rushes, power play goal by Keegan Jewell and one by Janet Connolly, not a power play, just a regular goal. Shot, Kaden Kusumano's gonna jump on it. She hasn't really seen, that's her first short shot. It's only four shots for Gloucester and that was the first one for Hopkinton. So I think Keegan was, uh, Kaden was a little bored and just decided safe than sorry, especially with 1.29 to go in the period. Shot, nice save. So you all know that Keegan's father was a goalie for the Gloucester Fisherman back in the day. So I guess it wasn't much of a stretch for Caden to play. I'm sure he gets ribbed all the time that his daughter's better than he was, but he was a really good goalie. Uh oh, here we go. Can she outskate her? Yeah, she can. Pregent, she flies. Oh, she's going to get the rebound. Lily flies. Even on skate, she flies. Fastest kid out there in field hockey, I think. A tough pass there. Gentile was there for the fisherman. Here we go. This is Jewel. Oops. She's going to come off. 34 seconds to go in the first. Abby Lolas, Connolly. Sixteen seconds. Fishman trying for a sneak goal. Bushy on the far wing. Seven seconds to go here in the first period. Three, two, one. That's going to be the end of the first period with the Gloucester High Fishman two. And Hopkinton Hillers zero. We'll be back for second half action here on Cape Ann Live.
Eva Marie smoked 12,000 packs of cigarettes over 15 years. She quit, and now there's a new lung cancer screening that could save her life. You stopped smoking, now start screening. No matter how much you smoked, early detection could save you. Talk to your doctor or learn more at savedbythescan.org. We're back for second period action here. The Dorothy Talbot rink, a.k.a. the tank. Oh, there I am. <laughs> Anyhow, uh, Gloucester with two first period goals. Jenna Connolly at the 1040 mark, and Keegan Jewell will power play at the 628 mark. Um, shots on goal are five for Fisherman, two for Hopkinton. But Gloucester is, um, I thought, dominated play for the most part. Two shots for Hopkinton were late in the period. So we'll see what the second period brings. Uh, the Fisherman with their three senior captains, Abby Lothers, Ella Coster, and Brooke McNiff lead in the way today. Kaden Cusimano, who's been solid in net, sophomore. So not many players, but the players play hard and they play with heart. Um, one person we haven't mentioned today is Eliana Parsons, who Dad Rob is the coach who's out, I believe, with an injury. I, well, I've seen her on crutches, so uh, according to my source, she's out for the year. Uh, she tore something. So that's a blow for the Fisherman. She's a sophomore. Coach, Fisherman coached by Rob Parsons, Dan, Ju Dan Juden, uh, Donnie Riley, and Dave Jewell. Rusty Harnish here watching his granddaughter, Sydney Bushy, play. So let's see, we got Lothers line out. Lothers, Jenna Connolly's 24, Lothers is four, and uh, the other wing, 11. Oh, Sydney Bushy. And then McNiff and uh, Coster on defense. Oh, shot, tipped in, save. Cleared it out, and here comes the Fisherman. Ooh, that was tough, good save by Caden. Abby, oh, nice pass in. Couldn't quite get it to Jenna on his stick side. Brooke keeps it in. Connolly from behind the net, over to Bushy. Alacosta keeps it in. Can't find a fisherman and goes back to center ice. Here comes the fisherman back. Good job getting back on side. Lola's the shot's blocked by the D. Oh, nice play by Costa. She's gonna put it around the boards. Number two, Fiona, uh, number two, Lily Pregent flies in there. And here comes the Hillers. Got a whistle. That was a sick whistle. I think he wants to check it a little bit. Hand pass. All right, this is Keegan Jewell, Pregent, and Black, Fiona Black. Nice play. Pregent. Pritchett uh, intercepted. Oh, nice shot. Oh, just went wild. Wide. Keegan Jewell with the tip. Black trying to get it out of there. She's double teamed. Goes back to the defense. Nice play, keeping it in. That was Gentile. Costa into the crowd. Costa again. And here comes the Hillers. Gentile, nice play, turn around. Defense gets back. Previous years, they didn't get back just as good. Can tell the experience that they've had. Gentile's only an eighth grader, but. 
A lot of girls coming up um, from the youth hockey program. Uh, Dan Juden, a former standout here at Gloucester High. And then I believe he went to like uh, prep school before he graduated, but big boy. Um, he uh, has a couple daughters, at least one daughter along the way, Pete Sutera's daughter. And I think they're fifth graders. And there they up and coming. There's some good, good kids coming up. You see a lot of youth hockey uh, shirts at O'Malley. Oh, here's a break shot. Oh, oh, she couldn't get the rebound. That was number 11, Sydney Bushy. Oh, that was a nice play. Good rush by Sid. Trying to keep it in. Goes to Gentile. Big difference in it's Elizabeth, right? From last year to this year. These kids skate almost all year round. I mean, actually, we have a lot of three-sport athletes, but you know they're skating somewhere to keep looking this good. Three on two. Shot, no good. Out front, they got somebody out front? No, they can't get them. Nice break up by McNiff. Pregent. Lily can fly. Oh, pass out in front. Shot. Oh, that was McNiff. Oh, Brooke will want that one back. She doesn't usually miss that too much. Nice play by Pregent setting her up. 10.56 in the second. Gloss with a couple nice chances, but the goalie for Hopkinton, Riley Kalora, being strong with six saves. That's three Fiona Black. Pregent on our side. Keegan Jewell with the puck. Oh, nice play by the defense. Offense, I mean. Turn it into def defense and offense. Oh! <laughs> Hopkinton strong. Trying to hit Fiona. She's got to stay on side if she couldn't. Tough break. Yeah. Foot just went up. She tried. Lily was flying. All right, Connolly, Costa, Bushy, and that's low. This going in on the puck. Keegan can't get it, and Hopkinton clears it down for nice. 9.57 to go in the second. Fishman looking good. Jenna Connolly taking the face off. Lothers. Jewel. Out front. Oh, up in the air. And here comes Hopkinton. Gentile. Nice breakup by the eighth grader. Can you have a not do that? Because it gets the, uh, thank you. Here comes Hopkinton, a good defense by, oh, this is shot, it's gonna be blocked. Oh, trying to clear it up to the wing. Gentile, gonna get it around the side, looking for Lothers. Abby looking up in the middle. Connolly gonna come chase. Pregent, it's like they're in a line change. Jenna. Right, we're gonna get the second line back out here. Lily out, oh, oh! 
Beautiful pass to Black, couldn't fire it in. Got to remember those kids are just in eighth grade, huh? Here comes Black again. Shot, oh, nice shot. Like I said, this program's got to survive with people like Dan Jewell, Dan Juden and uh, down the um, lower levels, Pete Sutara coaching these girls. And there's a ton of them playing, so I hope they keep it up and Glossa Hockey will have some success along the way. Oh, not the pass she wanted. But McNiff shot. It's in. Connolly trying to stuff it at home, but she couldn't. 8.13 to go, 2 nothing Fisherman. Shots on net 10 for the Fisherman, 3 for Hopkinton. All the way around to the back. Bushy, trying to hit Conley. Conley was a shot. Oh! I think it might have hit the post. Nice how she aimed for the far side there. I like that. The big difference in a couple of years where they just would shoot it. Now they're aiming for the open space. Comes Hopkinton. Shot is blocked by McNiff. Lost to trying to clear it out. Hilliers with some pressure. And here comes the Fishman. That's Caden. I mean, sorry. Um, Jewel. Keegan. Keegan and Caden. That's not confusing at all. All right, 7.06 to go in the second. <laughs> Lined up at the wrong spot. Lily Pregent takes a face off. Keegan gets it back to defense. Niff, I mean, uh, cost it to McNiff. Nice stick handling in, trying to get it out front. Oh. Good try by Costa. She stays with it. Good job by Ella. Pass over though, shot. Oh, what a nice shot. Wow, that was a bullet. By Hopkinton to cut the lead in half here. Wow. Costa played good defense. She didn't really come over though, like she should have in the nice pass. Sniper. Hard to tell the number, it looked like Four or two, I don't know. It's tough with the hair. Was it two? Brooke Furlong. Ooh, 28, class of 28, it's an eighth grader. Hopkinton fired up over there. Six twenty-six. it's only the fourth shot on net. That was a snipe. Can't really hear the announcement of this, this, this place here. So two things I would like to happen at the tank is handrails for people like myself to get up in the bleachers and uh, the sound system to get a little better. Yeah, a lot better, Jim says, but that could be our sides. And it just hit her in the foot, so we're need to blow a whistle. Oh. I thought the whistle should run a little sooner when it hit her in the foot, but hey, 551, two to one Fisherman. That was a snipe, that was a good goal. Jim said it was a beauty. Nothing Katie could do on that. All right, so the Fisherman got to get back to work. Oh, get out of the way, ref. Oh, 
Oh, shot, Pregent, oh! Man, they're all over the place. They just can't get it in the net. Shot again. Here comes Hopkinton. They got a three on one break. Couldn't quite connect. Ella Costa hustling back. That's going to be an ice. So 5.15 to go here in the second. Regent, Jewel, and Black, it looks like. Costa. Oh! Pass it over. Oh! Probably too hard to pass that time. Good try by Pregent to try to set up Black. Oh, defense shot. Oh, trickles in. Oh! Thank goodness that went wide. I was headed right in for the net. Trying to get it out. Hopkinson still with it. 22 with the shot. Goes over Kuzmano's shoulder. The save. Here we go. Jewel. Keegan still with it. End to end. Oh, nice pass back to McNiff. Shots on net, save. Gentile can't keep it in. It's on the wrong side with stick. Costa clears the end. We'll get a change, line change. Good play by Keegan. That's going to be an ice, and so we will get a line change with 3.57 to go here in the second. It's like Big Rob Bushy down there. He's got the uh, hook in his hat. Is he thinking fishing in January? Either that or it's just good luck. Oh, I forgot to take it off in the summertime. Nice save by Cusimano. Hopkinton's fired up here. It's two to one. Lost a 12 shots on net. Hopkinton goalie standing on ahead. A lot of them. Ten saves. Riley Clora. She's a sophomore also. So you wonder why like a Hopkinton comes all the way to Gloucester. It's, uh, girls hockey is still evolving. And there aren't that many uh, towns around that play. So I'm sure you try to find out. I don't know if Gloucester goes to Hopkinton and return the favor. Or maybe next year they go to Hopkinton. But uh, anyhow, you play all sorts of teams and you travel in girls hockey. There's no Northeast Conference. Um, Beverly and Davis play together. Peabody plays with... I don't think a Northeast Conference school. I think it's like Linfield or something. Anyhow. 2.40 to go in the second. Shots on goal for the Fisherman, 12. For Hopkinton, 5. It's 2 to 1 Fisherman. Goes all the way back. Gentile hustling. Going to be an ice. No ice. Black, Fiona, Keegan in the middle, and Lily Pregent. Ooh, wide shot. Hopkinton girls can shoot when given the chance. Up to Keegan. Wings got to wait. Oh, there she is. Nice pass, Black. Puts it in on net, and they're going to cover that up. 156 to go. We'll switch up. It's like just the defense. Nope, we'll switch up the lines with 156 to go. So Gloss with just two lines. Oh, 
Oh, goes all the way back. Ella Costa going there. They rotate Costa, McNiff, and Gentile in defense. Hopkinton with the steal. Shot, it's gonna bounce over the net. Behind the net, good plate breakup by the fisherman. Defense can't keep it in. Lola's trying to bug it in. Abby's gonna get it. Nice back checking. She can't hit the wing. Here comes Hopkinton. Abby trying to get it out. And there's Jenna Connolly. Nice. No checking, but that was a nice move by Hopkinton to sail her up, I guess. 48 seconds. Goes all the way back. Bridget. Back to McNiff. McNiff trying to get up the side. Blocked by Hopkinton, 34 seconds. Here we go, we're gonna see end to end right here. Costa. Oh, couldn't quite reach the other side. Oh, collision. Oh, two collisions. 15 seconds, shot. Oh, nice save. That was Connolly. Beautiful save by Clara. <clears throat> 11 seconds to go. <clears throat> They can't be the last people to make the sub. I guess they can. Oh, we need to win that. Six. That's going to be the end of the second period. McNiff will just touch it. And after two, it's Gloucester two. Hopkinton one. We'll be back for third period action here on Cape Ann Live. screening that could save her life. You stop smoking, now start screening. No matter how much you smoked, early detection could save you. Talk to your doctor or learn more at savedbythescan.org. here at the Dorothy Talbot rink, AKA the tank. There's a Gloucester Fisherman in her head, two to one. Gloucester scored two goals in the first period. Uh, Jenna Connolly and Keegan Jewell. And then Hopkinton came back, a goal by Brooke Furlong, we believe, number two in the second period. Cut the lead in half. Gloucester's out shooting Hopkinton, 14 to five. Uh, I'd like to give a little shout out right now to Higher Clicks solving your toughest talent acquisition problems. Give them a call at 617-299-8889. 
978-617-299-8889. KPN Travel Service, 978-281-8216. Give Denise a call for all your travel plans. And for KPN Media Productions, 978-879-3226. They're, we're here because of them today. So if you'd like to help sponsor us, get your name up, some uh, advertising going, we'd love to do it for you. So we'll see what the fishermen have in their tank. They, obviously, these kids are in great shape because they're just coming off of majority, a lot of them, uh, field hockey season where they run and run and run forever. Oh, shot. Oh, she missed that one. That was Sydney Bushy. Um, with Fisherman and Basil have been skating two lines, three defensemen. Coaching under Rob Parsons. So they had a bunch of kids try out last year. And they really kind of figured, I think, out that they really weren't skaters at this level. And so these are the hockey players that we have left. Eliana Parsons out with an injury, as we said. Um, Hurts shot. Oh, nice save. I uh, don't know where Al Ari Scholar is today. So she usually gets to play a lot. She's at least a three year player here on the hockey team. Might be all four. Gentile. Black, Fiona. Ooh, Pregent sneaking in. Couldn't quite get through. It's a nice play by McNiff. Pregent's still sliding. Looking out front, McNiff trying to stuff it in. And she gets it in. Brooke McNiff. Pregent jumping in her arms. That's a big goal for the Fishman at the 13.03 mark. Here he comes, instant replay. A lot of times you see once a game, Brooke doing this stuff, going the length of the ice. She just kept stuffing it in the senior. Nice job. 13.03 mark for Brooke McNiff. That's a little breather for the fisherman. It's an unassisted goal. Black, Let's try to clear it down, I'm sure. Phil's watching, Jim. Yeah, he's home from work. We should have asked him if he saw any boys score. The boys are up and went the. Oh, out in front. Tough break. Connolly was circling around looking for that. The goalie had it. 18 shots to five for the Fishman. Back to McNiff. Lola's trying to fight for it. Nick trying to keep it in and she does. Shot, oh, into the crowd. Shot, blocked. Bushy trying to get it out. Connolly, out of Bushy. Shot, save. Lothers, McNiff. McNiff with a shot. Nobody there for the rebound. Ella, can't keep it in. Good job bringing it out. Over to Brooke. Up to Lothers. Abby, oh, nice pass just behind. Now she gets it. Bushy. To Connolly. Abby says, I'm out here. Oh, nice clear away by number 17. Pass away front, nobody there. Oh, it went by everybody, actually. People were there. It was three to one, Fishman, 11 10 to go here in the third. Goes all the way back to McNiff. McNiff with a nice move. 
She still has it. She's gonna put it behind the net. Oh, out in front. Oh, she couldn't connect. The bodies go flying. I think this is gonna be interference on. Oh no, it's gonna be on Gloucester. Penalty on Gloucester for the takedown. Wasn't that like when she tipped it in? But you have to have to control it. Cross check. I don't know, my feeling in girls hockey, if you're gonna get a penalty, you should really just hit the kid. No, no, no feeble cross check, just really nail him. Oh, I am kidding. <laughs> uh, that's probably, I played basketball. I used that one with my five fouls every game. So it's number 19, Keegan Jewell. The two minute penalty, 10 20 to go. I know, you watch the, um, well, they had a really good hockey game. Unfortunately, we were away that one weekend. I've been away the whole year when they had girls hockey up here. And uh, you watch them play, and it's like, they, they're physical, but they're, they don't make penalties, but yet it's a very physical game. But they can't check, which I don't quite get it. A lot of these kids, um, Keegan's cousin Mia, who unfortunately is playing at Fenwick, grew up playing on the all boys team. So once they're 12, you can start checking. And she was like, decking kids. So she was spent a lot of time in the penalty box when she was in eighth grade here at O'Malley. Nice save. Got to fold as her knees down. It's no ice because we're shorthanded. 50 seconds to go on the penalty. 9.20 to go in the third. Nice play. Costa. Costa's going to cut some time off here. Good job. Clearing it out. Tell the McNiff and Costa have been around for a while. Plus, they're smart kids. Sometimes you can be smart in school, which these girls all are. It's, you're not smart in the playing field or vice versa. And these kids have the smarts both on the field and in the classroom. All top of the class, National Honor Society students. Some of the best of the best are out here. Penalties up. Good job by the fishermen. They gotta wait for their place to get out. Ooh. That was close. Uh, Costa. Clears it out. They clear it out, the fishermen. That was Bushy clearing it out. 11, right? Oh, it's got to be Pregent flying. Nope. Yeah, it is. Shot. Oh! Oh! That trickled off a defense, but it just went wide. Oh, trying to look out front, but nobody there, but Hopkins in, and here they come. Offsides. It goes way in over the net. We have 7.34 to go in the third. Here comes the fish. Oh, that was offsides, no? Oh, interesting. I looked at here too. Oh, shot right on net. Goalie covers it up before Fiona Black can get there. So we got Pregent's line, Black, and Keegan Jewell. McNiff, oh. McNiff with it, that's um, Costa on the other side. McNiff is going to put it on net and scores. Woo, it got over the goalie. Little, I don't think the goalie quite saw that. And Brooke McNiff with her second of the game. This is pretty. Here comes a replay. 
Goes back. Back here to Brooke. And Brooke's just going to shoot it. This is why you shoot it on net. I don't know. I wonder if the uh, Hopkinton girl tipped it in. But anyhow, we'll take it. Four to one. That's huge. Seven minutes to go. That's Brooke's second of the night. This creates a lot of... A lot of... Uh, breathing room for the fishermen. Get that out at some point. That's Pregent. Oh, out in front. Still going. Nice job keeping it in. That was Fiona Black. Fiona's going to shoot on net. Oh! Nice save. Great shot. Excuse. Connolly. Oh, another one deflected. Fishermen are flying. They have 21 shots on net. And that's really impressive. There they go. Connolly. Jen, I believe, had the first goal. I had to hear the announcer, and I confused her and Keegan for a while. Here comes Ella. Ella trying to sneak it out. Goes back to McNiff. Oh, nice pass. A beauty to number 10. Oh, that was Costa flying up the ice. She's getting hammered. Got to flatten it out. She does. Shot gets deflected. Gentile trying to keep it in. That was Keegan. Oh, no, that was Connolly back there. 14 is... No, 4. Oh, 14, is that part? No, 24 that is. My bad. Yeah, I was going to say, Jenna Connolly's 14. Luckily, the line change and McNiff's back to help Gentile, but boy, nice job. Elizabeth Gentile's done a good job on defense as an eighth grader. Passes up to Lothers. Lothers just behind to Pregent. No ice. 4-12 to go. Trying to keep it in. Well, that's kind of dangerous pass, but McNiff gets it. And here comes Keegan. Keegan with the shot. Nice save. 3.50 to go in the game. Kaden Cusimano taking a little skate, getting loosened up as most of the action's been down Gloucester end. Tell you, this is really impressive. Two lines. Three defensemen and these girls, boy, what great shape they're in. It all starts with that was break up there, but it all starts with these two back on defense. Shot, save, Cusimano. Not many giveaways to them, McNiff and uh, Costa make. And they can uh, score, as we saw McNiff with two goals today. But they're steady as steady can be. They're two of the huge reasons. Here we go, three on one. Pregent, shot. Oh, save. Lily's dying to get one. That's a nice play. Good pass by Costa. I tell you, Lily Pregent flies. 3.11 to go. Gloucester up. Four to one. Goals by Connolly. Jewel and two by McNiff. Gloucester fighting for it. That's number eight, Kaya Collins. 
So Collins would be part of a third line. They're putting her out with Bushy and Connolly. Give Kaya some reps here as an eighth grader. Because next year she'll be filling in for all these seniors that will be, will be losing. All the way back to Costa. Two fifteen to go. Oh, nice play by Collins. Collins still with it. Looking for the pass, but McNiff goes the other side. Pass in the middle. Shot, save. That was Keegan, that was 24, Jenna Connolly. I'm still gonna get them all messed up. Keegan's hair needs to be redder like it used to be. I know underneath it is. It's interesting, Keegan uh, in field hockey is the goalie where here she skates out. But I think she has always skated out here in hockey where field hockey, I think they needed her skills and she became a, she's an excellent goalie. One thirteen to go here in the game. Gloucester up 42. So shot 14 over Cusimano's head. So if the Cusimano's are watching from Florida, hopefully you are. We got four more home games coming up on KPN Live. We'll be back here on Saturday. I think Saturday's game, I believe, is at 6 again. Huh? Oh, Jim thinks it might be four. Anyhow, um, prime time. So we got six four more games coming up that are going to be home for, in the, a couple way, and we'll be here for the rest of the season for girls hockey, either Phil or myself. Twenty-three seconds to go. So a good win today for the Fishermen. Fiona Black. Costa, nice play by Pregent. So we're happy to bring you tonight's game. Oh, shot. Oh, man. Costa can't get it in. I tell you, this goalie played a great game. 20, 21, 23 saves. 22 saves. So the Fishermen go out to congratulate Kanan Cusimano and a big win here today, four to one. So for Jim Capello, I'm Lisa Olson. Thank you for tuning in tonight. We'll see you Saturday night here on Cape Ann Live. Good night, everybody.